Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today, we are going to be looking at how to um, design and create your own logo um, stickers. All right, now, um, for those of you that have watched my channel before, you will see that um, I use a logo, a particular logo, a circle with my name in the center, and basically it's normally pink, and it has a few stars sprinkled in the background. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this on an iPad using an Apple Pencil, okay? Which is one of these here, all right? Apple iPad and Procreate. Um, now, I have currently got uh, an iPad Pro, um, which is a 12.9 screen, um, and I use Procreate on that quite a lot. Uh, it's a very good program and it doesn't cost much it in fact it costs if I remember right it costs ten dollars or less than ten pounds okay now that you can't go wrong with that because it is a brilliant program to work with and I love it so much you can do with it now so I'm going to take you over to the screen and we're going to see how I create my designs right so we'll start with a blank canvas a4 sheet now I'm scrolling down to Studio Pen, and I'm going to pick my colour, uh, which is pink, and I'm going to the next first layer. Right, here we go. So I'm going to draw a circle, enlarge it a little bit, and then I'm going to drop the colour in to fill it up. Now I'm going to go back, do another layer, and now I'm going to change to white. And now I'm going to draw in my name. Make it a little bit thinner and draw the heart. And there we have it. Now I'm going to go and save this. I'm going to save the image. And now I'm back into Cricut. I've missed a bit out. So I've downloaded the design into Cricut. And I've uploaded it now into the design space. And I'm going to do all those little bits and pieces that you do to tidy it up. Go for print and cut. Image name. Save. Right. Now it should be, yeah, there we go. Click on that one. Upload it. Now we're in design space. Shorten. Let's make it a bit smaller because obviously we don't want it too big. Drag it over to the corner, zoom in, and now we're gonna make sure it's up in the far corner, so we've got plenty of space to put everything else. Now I'm gonna duplicate it and line it all up. I'm then gonna duplicate it again, line it all up, and duplicate it again and line it all up. Now I'm gonna get the whole of these and duplicate them and so on. Once I've got to that many, I'll duplicate the whole lot again and then just drag them and drop them down below. And that should be enough to cover an A4 sheet. Obviously you've got the cut lines as well, you know, the outer black line, so you need room for that. Now <clears throat> we're going to flatten them and I'm going to click on make it. I'm going to turn off the bleed, okay, and upload to the, the printer. So I'm just going to do one copy for now and print. And here we go. Um, that is actually more to my liking. I much prefer that to this here. There's that one. It's too messy. It's too many. S I put stars in the background. I don't like it. Um, but this one here is pretty simple, and you can see the heart better as well. Definitely, definitely much prefer this one. It's a nicer colour as well. Um, now, this sticker paper here is very good quality sticker paper, okay? This is the um, this stuff here. 
by PPD, okay? And I like this. This is the glossy vinyl. Right, now we're gonna pop our stickers on our mat to cut out. Press continue on here and in a minute uh, right we've got here we're going to go for vinyl okay um, then we're going to click on this button here it's going to move all that forward and now we can press go button Quite nice it's turned out pretty well I do like that um, and this sticker paper is pretty good quality as well there well I hope you enjoyed the video um, I am quite happy with the way these turned out so you know these this is a pretty simple way to create your own logo on your stickers all right and you can add whatever colors you want you can design it however you want as detailed as you want or as plain as you want square round stars whatever anything you want and i think it's a pretty good way to customize your um brand so that said um i think i will get on now i have got however a let me just have a look one minute i have got however one of these uh machines here now this dymo is a, a wireless label writer okay now with this um, I purchased this to do the labels for the back of my art um, but now I am going to be using it also because with these you can now get coloured labels and, and because um, this doesn't use ink basically the ink is in the label itself and the heat reacts with it that therefore is how the label is printed okay so um, I will be getting some coloured labels to go with these and I shall be making some just normal straight labels with these. Uh, um, I might show you how I do it, although it's pretty simple. With this Dymo here, you can download an app and basically you can design your label within the app. Um, there's different fonts in there, there's different sizes in there, there's different, there's lines, there's, you know, there's different things you can do with the app itself. And it's all done wirelessly with, like I say, you can design it on your mobile phone or on your iPad and then send it straight to the machine and it will automatically print them out. So it's a brilliant way of uh, doing labels. Um, I like my Cricut, however, because you've got more choice of how you design your label. With these, you've just basically got, you know, black ink on whatever label you happen to have. You can get coloured labels um, and so on. So. All that said and done, I'm going to leave you now and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will be back again soon um, with more videos on whatever. So bye for now and I will see you again soon. Goodbye, bye, bye, bye.